before Srila Prabhupada arrived in Germany the second time, uh, 974, uh, we just got a big temple, closed down all the small preaching centers and centralized everything in one big temple. And uh, it was just a few weeks before Prabhupada arrived. So we were desperately painting and everything and preparing and everything. And, and then uh, our, our uh, temple authorities got the typical German idea that for the pleasure of Srila Prabhupada, in one day, the whole German Yatra will go out and collect for a Mercedes. He will buy a Mercedes for Prabhupada. I don't know why, but it's a typical German idea. So, you know. <laughs> so that one day, I was not initiated yet, but I was one and a half years on Sankirtan already. So we knew one town in Germany where you can distribute practically 24 hours a day. So we started at 8 o'clock in the morning and in the evening we switched to the old section of the town which was basically just brothel houses and bars and just kept on distributing them. And that day became every, all devotees, pujaris, everybody was out. That day became so ecstatic that actually somewhere around 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, I completely forgot my mantra. I didn't know what I was saying anymore. I just told people, he's coming. <laughs> people were crying. They're going, really? How much do you want? <laughs> and it wasn't just because they were drunk, but, you know, and I saw devotees doing things on the street. They were dancing with people, you know, just grabbing people and going, <laughs> spinning around in a circle. And, you know, and I was like, wow, wow, wow. I saw a devotee, his name was Bibisana. He grew up actually, he was a little bit older as us. He grew up in bars, you know, in, you know, you know, probably being nourished by alcohol. And, you know, so there was this bus around us. So he just went into the bus, which normally we didn't do, you know. And he sat on this big, you know, bar, you know, ordered one glass of water and distributed Bhagavad Gita straight to the people as they were sitting there drinking, you know, and smoking. It's normally not that kind of environment you distribute Bhagavad Gita. And they all like that. They all just, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. So somewhere around 4 o'clock in the morning, there was nobody on the street anymore, so we met at the car and we drove back to the temple, coming just for the Guru Puj. We were completely insane, we were just jumping. We just still the Sangitam bags around the neck and, <laughs> and Prabhupada came. Anyway, so this is a little bit of a taste of this, that this is something you cannot reproduce artificially. You cannot just say, okay, now I become ecstatic, and you cannot imitate these things. But in principle, you can follow 